hope you're having the best autumn day. I have been decorating for the autumn season, got started, but look what's behind me other than autumn decorations. I have shutters on the windows, finally. I have tried to get these shutters up for a while, and this week it finally happened, and I'm so excited. But you know how long it takes to get things done now. Well, this is a long time coming, but I finally got those shutters because there is construction across the street and it's so wonderful to be able to have privacy when I'm standing in the kitchen. So I am going to enjoy those for a long time because I think we have another year of construction across the street, but that's okay because we have construction in our house too. So we're all in this together, but I am decorating a pumpkin today and we're going to go through this together because I've never done this before. I've never really used a drill before. I just barely know how. And so I'm telling you what, if I can do this, you can do this. So here's the plan. We are going to take a pumpkin and we are going to create a design using drill, making holes in the pumpkin. And you can choose any design you would like. I thought about putting owl eyes on this because when I put a candle inside the pumpkin, it'll illuminate through and look like an owl, but I don't know if I'm that artistic. So I'm going to go with a much more simple design. So what we're going to do is take our drill and I'm starting with a one inch bit because I'm going to make holes all along the center of this pumpkin, one inch holes, about three inches apart. And then above and below each one of those one inch holes, I'm going to put a half an inch hole and then a smaller hole on each side of that. Of course, we're gonna take the top off of this so we can clean it out and put a candle in it. And it, in the evening and stay till the last of the video because it's not dark outside yet and I can't light it and you can see it. So when it's dark tonight, I will light a candle and you'll see the end result of this. I think this is a beautiful idea because we all use the same designs over and over. I'm trying to decorate in different ways for the autumn season and by doing this, I believe I can use it all the way through Halloween and Thanksgiving. And even at Thanksgiving, if I wanted to spray this gold and use it the same way, but in a different color, I think it might work. We're gonna give this a try. You probably have some really great ideas for decorating pumpkins and I'd love to hear from you about this because you know, last year I did Day of the Dead for Halloween. Well, you can't use Day of the Dead all the way through Thanksgiving. And I thought, well, you know, let's try something different. Let's use pumpkins and gourds and maybe switch it over after Halloween into a gold and white look for Thanksgiving. And we're gonna try this and I think this design is gonna work. So what you'll need is a drill, and this drill just happens to be with a battery pack. I mean, if you have one with a cord, it makes absolutely no difference. You will need a knife. And I'm using this knife, it looks deadly. And it is called a Fat Max dr uh, drill. It's a Fat Max circle saw, and it's made by Stanley. And we're gonna cut the top of the pumpkin with this because I had bought one of those little kits. See this? I think I've had it probably 10 or 15 years. You can get them at like Walgreens, CBS. I think Walmart has them. But the tiny little saw that comes with this kit is dinky. It does not work. So then you wind up getting one of your good steak knives out and trying that. Well, he comes in the house with this. It is scary looking to me, but I'm going to use it. And we're going to cut a hole in the top of the pumpkin at an angle. And we do that because I've done it straight up and down before and the top just falls straight into the pumpkin. So if you do it at an angle, then it will not do that. It won't drop straight through. It has some resistance. So we're going to start by cutting a hole in the top of the pumpkin. Now, if you don't think you're going to put a candle in yours, if you just want to decorate it from the outside, 
and you're not going to eliminate it, don't even bother cutting a hole in the top. Just leave that beautiful stem just like it is. And you'll notice this pumpkin is imperfect, and I love that about nature. And I have put down paper to catch all the pumpkin yuck. And luckily, this sink has a garbage disposal, so I'm just going to put all of the things in that. And let's get started. So here's the scary knife, and I'm going to cut a hole in this pumpkin. And goodness gracious, wait, this works great. So I'm cutting through. Now, if I totally screw this up, I'm going to have to run and get another pumpkin for you, but I hope this works because I only bought one. Do they do this, say, in Germany or China? I don't know. I don't like this little tiny spoon. I'm going to get a big spoon. This should do the trick. Now, I'm not going to keep the seeds and roast them, but a lot of you do. And there are a lot of seeds in this pumpkin. If you buy organic fruits and vegetables, most of the time the seeds are usable. You can dry them, plant them, and they'll actually produce. But if you don't buy organic, most of the time the seeds will not produce. So if you wanted to plant these pumpkin seeds and grow a few pumpkins next year, buy an organic pumpkin. Look at this. There are a lot of seeds. Look at this, tons of them. But you know, I think the only way I'm going to actually get this out of here is to put my hands in here and just dig in. Ugh. It's slimy. Okay. Uh. Ta-da! 
we got it. So now we're going to lay out the design on the pumpkin. And I'm going to use this tiny little punch to make marks to show me exactly where to drill. And I'm going to start by measuring down. This is going to be a little difficult because one side of the pumpkin is larger than the other. But I'm going to do the best I can. And I'm going to measure down. Let's see, this pumpkin stands at about uh, 10 inches. So I'm going to go about, let's say, five and a half inches because I want it farther down on this side. So I'm going to say five and a half inches right there. And I'm going to punch. And that is where I'm going to put my largest hole. Now remember, you can use any design you want. And then I'm going to move over about, let's go, mm, let's go over two inches. And I'm going to do this all the way around. Now remember, this first center hole is going to be an inch. So I have an inch of hole and about, that would make it about an inch or inch and a half on each side. I'm not good at math. As a matter of fact, I'm horrible at math. Okay, now I'm going to start with the drill. I'm going to make the largest holes first. I have a one inch drill bit and let's go. I'm back. I had a minor problem. It took me forever to get this first, let me turn it around, this first hole drill because I learned that one thing you have to do is make sure the drill is going in forward motion, not backwards. And so it took me a moment to figure that out, but now we're making progress. So I'm going on around this pumpkin with the drill and make all of these one inch holes. Looking good. Now I'm going to change the drill bit and use a half inch drill bit. All right, now I was telling you earlier, I'm going to take the one inch hole and on each side of that, I'm going to put a half an inch hole. So we're going to drill just below and just above each hole. turn this around and show you what I'm doing. I haven't bothered to mark this because I'm just um, getting about as close as I can get without going to the color market. If you're going to use a much more intricate design, I would mark each place.
Here we go, there it's done. Now I'm gonna do one more ring of holes that are smaller. And when this is finished, in my mind's eye, it's going to look very Art Deco, but we're gonna find out when the sun goes down. And like I said, I'm gonna put that at the end of the video. I'm removing this half inch bit and putting a very small one on because I want there to be a true difference in size. And I was going to use this size, which I'm not sure what it is, but I'm just by looking at it, it doesn't look that much smaller than the one that I have above it. So I found this really small one, not the tiniest one, of course, because I was afraid there wouldn't be enough space for the light to come through. But now we'll go on and keep on drilling. These are gonna go on each side of the smaller holes, and this is even smaller. <laughs> Apparently, it's not tight enough. Let's see. I told you I've never used a drill before. I think I'm going to have to call in backup. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I had to get him to come and show me what I had done wrong. All I had done was not tighten it up enough. And so let's get started on the small ones. So what I will do now is clean up this disgusting mess and wait for, <laughs> there, we're going to clean up this disgusting mess and wait for nightfall and then we're going to put a candle inside and see what this looks like. I hope you enjoy doing this. I had a good time doing it. It's just that the first time you do anything is the most difficult. And so now that I have all of the ideas together in my head and I know how to use the drill better, next year, look out. I'm going to be drilling pumpkins everywhere. So I'm going to wait for the sun to go down and we're going to put a candle in it. And I hope you are enjoying this video. And if you're not a subscriber, please tap the subscribe button. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram. Bye.